Good afternoon, George Cabaligos for HFT Bonds. Well, we got the little rally that I was looking for. Unfortunately, it was all last night while we were sleeping. Came in this morning and the market was up near the highs and it just started to crumble. Um, I think we gave up, what, about half a point from uh, 130, 113 on the bonds all the way down to 130, 27, 28. Tried a small long around there, made a little bit on that, nothing great. I think I had a better trade being long the yen at the same time, figuring yen's rally and the bonds will rally. Yen rallied 50 ticks and the bonds rallied back up to like 10, 11. And I just kept moving my stop up thinking that we were going to go and make a higher high and ended up getting stopped out for a small gain. Uh, momentum traders, it's not our uh, cup of tea to be long bonds and notes yet. Tomorrow's the FOMC minutes. I think we get some housing data too. There's no buyback tomorrow. You know, keep an eye on what's happening over in Asia. I think, you know, what's going on in uh, Thailand and Indonesia and China and Japan are the important drivers for the treasuries at this point since they've basically stopped buying treasuries. They did buy them last night, obviously. We had the nice rally overnight from buyers in Asia. Hedge fund guys in London came in bright and early and, well, more like when the States, as soon as the States opened up is when the selling hit. But it is the first positive day we've seen in, I think, six days in the treasuries. There was one day last week, I think Wednesday, where we had that doji close. It wasn't very powerful. It was, you know, open and closed with a slight gain, and that was it, and gave up the ghost the next day. So I'm kind of thinking we're going to work our way a little bit higher from here. we got to see some real buying, and we just, you know, we had a couple bouts of it today. I think more short covering. I think it'll be very interesting to see what open interest does tomorrow. It should be down. The question is by how much. You know, we've had some massive increases the last five days down in the treasuries and open interest and with a lot of new shorts coming into the market. The question is are they covering or is this some new buying coming in? So we'll see when open interest data comes out late tonight. Beyond that, let's wait and see what the minutes look like. I do think the markets uh, still have some uh, potential for some short covering here especially if this Asian situation continues. We've got to keep a wary eye on what's happening overnight in the Asian uh, currency and equity markets. And it's not the Japan and China so much. It's Indonesia and Thailand. And, you know, those, those are the places we have to keep our eyes on to see if that contagion spreads. Uh, the upside here, you know, uh, what kind of levels should we be looking at? I'd love to see the bonds, you know, work their way up to 130, 119, 20. It's one of the fib retracements up above us here. I thought we could see that today. Unfortunately, we never got much oomph going on the upside, and that again is a warning sign. Remember, as the market's been breaking since the highs in May, we have consistently fallen short of hitting upside targets. So guys like me that are trying to look for the, uh, you know, the the higher highs and retesting previous highs were continually continually disappointed by the lack of upside progress on these treasuries and again today we're seeing a little bit of that. We did close up near the highs so I want to give the upside the benefit of the doubt see how much more upside we can get out of this thing and be aware of potential reversals tomorrow with the uh, FOMC minutes. Alright, not much to add. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow morning and if you're Follow me on Twitter. I sent out a tweet earlier about a 24-hour uh, webinar marathon that our friends at TradingPub.com are doing. I get the Friday morning at 3 a.m. Central Time to 4.30 a.m. Central Time uh, time slot. <laughs> I guess I, I must be the youngest guy in there or something. I get the uh, worst time slot of the bunch. But uh, if you're up around those times, I know a lot of my friends over in Europe and in the Middle East, if you guys are around, man, sign up for that. It'd be fun to have you there. Maybe get a little back and forth going. Talk to you guys later. Have a great evening.